Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, it's a sleepy morning, isn't it? It's gorgeous out, though. So that's where everybody is. They're all running today. <laughs> They're out on the harbor running. Uh, I am Susie Jeanette, um, President and CEO of Mamba Media. We are uh, an integrated marketing firm here in Portland. We do work all around the world to integrate new technologies and modernization uh, for companies, large and small. And um, I'm also an instructor here at PSU CEPI, so that's that's what gets me very passionate, and that's why I'm here today. I'm here to host um, social media and the news. I think that this is a fascinating topic, and we have some amazing people here joining us today. And so I'd like to introduce, we have Greg Retsinas of KGW. He's the newly appointed director, uh, digital director of KGW. Why isn't that working? You just need to turn it I might not. <laughs> Is that just a turn off? Sorry. Um, and uh, KGW is on the forefront of, of digital reporting and social media. They uh, recently won the um, Oregon Association of Broadcasters uh, top channel, um, and really they, they lead the trends uh, as far as news capture in the TV realm. So it's really remarkable what they've done. And so Greg is continuing that charge. Um, and it's great to have you, Greg. Thanks for being here. Uh, next, we have Malia Spencer, and she is a tech reporter for the Portland Business Journal, commonly known as BJ. Um, that's what we're talking about. And, <laughs> good, good. Um, and she's going to talk about um, the business news world, and especially the tech sector, and how, how that is impacted by social. And then lastly, we have um, Ali Manzano, and um, she is the um, the Oregonian, and um, again, speaking about newspapers, social, how those intersect, and how they've been impacted by the social media phenomenon that we are all experiencing. So, welcome to the panel. Thank you. So, I just wanted to kind of kick this off. I, I, I think it's fascinating. I wanted to kind of do a, a, a poll. So, how many of you these days are, are getting your news strictly from newspapers? Okay, how many are getting it from newspaper plus social? Great, okay, and how many of you are getting, are, are including radio in that? Okay, and how many of you are strictly social when you get your news? Okay, good. And then the person in between, right? Okay, I'm going to ask the TV question. How many of you want to get evening news? Okay. So as you can see here, if I had asked this question 20 years ago, we'd all raise our hands the same. We, we only had singular channels. So we, we very much, and I remember you know, growing up and I would watch the evening news with my folks. Um, we would watch 60 Minutes every Sunday night. I mean, that, that was just how we got our news. That's how we kicked off our week. And so now because of our 24-7 stream, um, we, we all get to choose who we take our news in from. Um, which means that we need to be more discerning, right? Because it used to be that, that, that it was broadcasted to us, and now we get to go and see our news. So today we're going to hear from three folks that are, that are professionals in this industry and how they choose the news, how they integrate social, how they find news in social. And it's really fascinating how much this has changed. So um, again, I mentioned that I, I teach a social media course here, and um, I was just asked, how often do I update my content in class? Um, every single term, because so much changes so quickly, the channels change so quickly, the data changes so quickly, people's behaviors change so quickly now. And from an anthropological standpoint, that's very different than what we used to do. Things have really, really evolved. Um, and it's hard, right, because now there's so many disparate sources, you have to be more discerning about your news, where you get it, and, and whether it's viable, whether it's reliable. Um, so we'll, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Q talks about halfway to news. So this is the, the percentage of folks um, who use social networking sites and then how much they get from their, so this is the total percentage of 64% of all adults are on Facebook and 30% of those get their news from Facebook. Right? YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter. So Facebook is really leading the charge here. Would, would people agree with that? Getting a lot of your news from Facebook? True or not? Um, Getting news from multiple sites, that's why I asked, are you combining your news consumption, right? So we have news from just one site, get news on two sites, get news on three or more sites. So really a lot of com combining of sites. I think that trend is going to continue to grow. And then mobile. 
So um, the consumption of mobile is growing so quickly. Uh, we find that 50% of all searches now, more than 50% are coming through mobile. So where we used to think nobody's going to read anything on their, on their <laughs> smartphones, they're, they're all reading on their smartphones. Uh, and again, now that, now that Facebook has figured out mobile, we're getting a lot of our news from Facebook and mobile. Um, so again, consumption. So really fascinating.